Welcome to Cheese Kitchen. Today I am going to make spicy chicken uh, curry or natakoli korambu which is a recipe that I've got from my grandmother and it's very traditional and very delicious. These are the ingredients of the recipe. So I have here about half a kilo of uh, country chicken that is lean chicken and uh, curry leaves. Then finely chopped onions about four. Mint leaves and coriander leaves. Two finely chopped tomato, two teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, about half a cup of uh, shredded coconut, and bay leaf, fennel seeds, cinnamon, cashew nuts, cloves, and cardamom. And about the spice powders: chili powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder, and then poppy seeds, uh, juice of one lemon, and then fennel seeds again. I'll be using this while cooking also. So these are the ingredients. Now let's see how to make this chicken curry dish. Now I'm going to marinate the chicken. One spoon of chili powder, one by four teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of uh, ginger garlic paste, juice of one lemon, mix everything together and marinate this for a minimum of half an hour and a maximum of one hour. Now for the masala paste, you will be needing um, all these, that is cashew, cinnamon, fennel seeds and cloves and then half a cup of shredded coconut and then poppy seeds. Now I will be dry roasting uh, the poppy seeds and, and then I will add all these in a mixie or food processor, add some water and grind it to a fine paste. So you can see I am uh, just dry roasting uh, the poppy seeds. I've used 6 cashews, you can even use about 8 but don't use too much or it will just uh, you know um, spoil the flavor or the taste of the dish. And finally the roasted uh, poppy seeds. Now I will add some water and I'm going to grind this to a fine paste. So this is how it has to come, just smooth and creamy. Pan is hot and I'm adding oil. This gravy will need a little bit of extra oil. Now I'm going to add the whole spices, curry leaves. Just fry it for a few seconds. Add very little bit of fenugreek seeds, sorry fennel seeds. Now I'm adding all the chopped onion. About four medium sized onions which are finely chopped. I'm adding salt. Salt actually makes the onions to cook faster and uh, also cook evenly. Just uh, close cook the onions for about uh, a minute. Now the onions have cooked really well, they've changed color. Now I'm adding one spoon of ginger garlic paste. We have already added ginger garlic paste to the chicken while marinating. So one spoon is enough. So a total of two spoons of ginger garlic paste for this dish. Always cook the ginger garlic paste in uh, low flame. Now the ginger garlic paste has uh, stuck to the pan just a little bit. So I'm going to add some water to deglaze the pan. I'm going to add the tomatoes. And cook till the tomatoes are soft and you can, you know, manage the, I mean, uh, and you can mash the tomatoes. Add salt again. So this is going to again help the tomatoes to cook evenly. Also cook till the um, oil separates. Now the tomato is cooked and you can see the oil separating outside. Just uh, mash the tomatoes using the ladle. Now I'm going to add the marinated chicken. And mix. Cook till the chicken turns white and then we'll be adding the ground masala. Now the chicken has let out its water and has uh, turned um, white in color. 
Now I'm going to add the ground masala. Mix everything. Now after adding the ground masala, I'm going to add half a spoon of chili powder, one spoon of coriander powder, mint and coriander leaves. The coriander and mint leaves really bring the flavor for this dish. Now finally I'm going to add one cup of water. Now I'll be cooking this till the oil separates uh, on the sides and it comes to a gravy consistency. So it's been about 15 minutes and you can see the oil separating uh, on the ends. And this is the perfect consistency for rice. So I'm going to stop, I'm going to switch off the flame. So yes, the chicken uh, curry or the natto koli korma is ready and I'm going to serve it with rice. See you guys, the chicken curry or natto koli korma is ready. I'm going to relish this dish and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye bye.